Hey guys, welcome to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. So, this is a series that I've been wanting to do for a long time, ever since we started the channel. And this is going to be just a quick run-through of the game. Um, the purpose is to just kind of show you guys where everything is, chests and stuff, some secrets, and all that stuff. But, um... We're going to be skipping all the cutscenes and stuff like that. But the story in this game is so great. Uh, I recommend if you haven't played it, stop what you're doing and go play it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get going. Uh, we're going to play on beginner. Just to make it as quick as possible. And BAM! Going. All right, so here, which of these you pick determines your starting stats, but more importantly, determines the order of the the <laughs> what abilities you get first, depending on what level. And we're gonna pick the sword first because if you do that, you get Leaf Racer pretty early on. And Leaf Bracer is an ability that lets you heal without being interrupted. Which is... it's pretty broken. And it gives us some other nice abilities pretty early on. Alright, tutorial. But yeah, like I said, if you have never played this game before, you should not watch this. You should play the game. Because the story is great, and just everything is great. And it's just, as a Kingdom Hearts fan, it is so hard for me to skip cutscenes. Cutscenes are the heart <laughs> of Kingdom Hearts. Alrighty, so here we got our first difference between Final Mix and the regular version, if you've never played Final Mix before. Triangle is now what you use to open chests, examine doors, all that stuff. A lot better than scrolling down to the bottom of your command menu. Okay, so this next part, you're gonna have Selfie, Titus, and Waka. They're all gonna ask you questions. And what these questions determine is how fast you level up. And picking the first option for each one puts you on the path to leveling up the fastest. To begin with, there's three different paths you can take. One levels you up really fast before level 40, and then Really slow after level 40, one's even the whole way through, and then the one I'm gonna pick, or sorry, the first one's the one I pick, and then one level shift slowly before level 40 and quickly after level 40. And here I'm beginning at dawn. The other ones, I think if you begin at midday, that's the same all the way through, and if you begin at twilight or darkness or something, it's easy in the end and hard at the beginning. Oh yeah! And uh, one thing is you guys watch these videos, if you have any questions, anything I didn't answer, if you're wondering why I do things, 
post in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer any Kingdom questions. Or if there's something you think I could do a lot better, tips for me, those would also be awesome. Save point. All right, we're gonna put this. So this is the thing I always do with my save files. I put one in between them just so I never accidentally overwrite. <clears throat> Alright, and then I think... Yeah. So, let's see, the first thing I'm gonna do is... Invert. Oh yeah. Left's left, right's right. And then, because we're playing on beginner, we get a ribbon EXP necklace, so those are both really good. And we get all this gubbins. And like I said, I do feel a little cheap playing on beginner, but the whole point is to show you guys the game, tactics, get through, how to find stuff, and dying 500 times to Riku not going to help that. Spoilers! And the music of this game is amazing as well, as you will find out. Alright, and this is Darksiders. Okay, so the first thing with this boss is that it's completely optional to beat him. If you lose, it's fine. Um, and there you go. <laughs> well, beginner is pretty easy. But, um, yeah, if you lose against him, it's the exact same as if you win, so it's not a good idea to waste items. I guess I'll talk during this cutscene. And if you find him on hard difficulties, what you, want to, what you can do is, first of all, you can hit his hand, whenever it's just by his side, or anytime it's close to you and you can reach it. So that's a good thing to do when he's not smashing his hand to the ground, if he's just standing around or something, just hit his hand while it's by his side. And then one way to get some tech points, which is just like extra XP, is to walk up his arm when it's smashed on the ground and go hit his head. And then he's got this one other attack where he unleashes these beams and you can deflect those back by hitting them. But it's pretty tricky. And that, my friends, is Dive to the Heart. So, that's the start of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pretty short beginning. But, next time we'll be trekking through this place. Good old Destiny Island. Alright guys, see ya.